Now, in the next 15 minutes, I will outline the last point, which is related to self-sustaining financial model for these workshops. Now, the current financial model for running this workshop is based on funding by the project under two distinct heads or major heads, as you can say. One, we say, is the fixed cost. It is not truly fixed. It is also related to number of participants, but it is fixed for a large number of participants club together. We consider 30 participants as the base model in any institution. In fact, the IST workshops that are conducted are always between for 25 to 35 people. That is how I had constructed the model. We have had situations where we have had even 100 participants from a remote center. We had actually to create two temporary separate remote centers in a single remote center to accommodate that. But we also have had uh, remote centers which had only 8 or 10 or 12 participants. In some areas where the participation is very low, but those areas are important geographically and politically, we have said that we will permit conduct of such workshops also. But I am taking 30 participants as the base figure for comparison purposes. Now, what we have worked out is that if you look at our, what are our fixed costs, our fixed costs are for conducting a workshop for 30 participants. There is a team that is required at your end, which is the workshop coordinator, the remote center coordinator, some TAs or some people who are required, a technical person, etc. So there is some amount of honorarium that is to be paid to all these people. We have estimated that this amounts to roughly about 2,500 rupees for 30 persons. We have a variable cost, which is primarily the food that needs to be given to the participants and seven or eight team members for the workshop. So for that duration of the workshop, we say that this also amounts to about 2,500 rupees. There is a cost for the conduct of the workshop at the hub. Hub is IIT Bombay, IIT Kharagpur. Please understand that you don't see that cost. So how do we calculate that cost? That cost is calculated by A, the large teams that both IITs have to maintain for running these workshops, their annual salary, okay, divided by the total number of participants that we B, for the actual workshop, we have to conduct a coordinator's workshop. Okay. C, we have to conduct additional coordinator's workshops such as this. So there is an overall cost of the project. Now what we are saying is, this cost, in whatever model we talk of, this cost is not to be passed on to the participants. This cost the government will continue to bear. So for conduct of the coordinator's workshop for every subject, for conduct of any such workshops, for the experts who actually conduct that workshop for whom we have to pay honorarium, okay, for the teams which visit your places occasionally even though it is for auditing purposes, whatever, whatever, these are the fixed cost at hub or these are variable costs at hub depending upon the number of events that you have. So we will say fixed cost at the hub. Now, whatever this is, is also substantial by the way, but this we will not pass on to the party. In fact, this was the main point of my convincing the ministry that if I conduct a workshop for only 30, 40 people, and if I have three or four experts whom I invite from various places who will conduct that workshop, then the cost of paying their travel, paying their honor and paying their stay has to be amortized over only 35 participants, therefore cost per participant goes. That is why the model of AICT requires 12,000 to 14,000 rupees per participant for a two-week program, whereas we have substantially reduced it. Okay. This cost works out to be about somewhere around 1,500 rupees per participant by you, because our total budget is about 6,500 rupees per participant for the workshop, including you. 
but we presume that that money shall be paid perpetually by the government. There is also an additional cost that we pay unknown to you. For every participant, we have to pay to uh, IST a certain participation fees that we pay from our money. But anyway, now what is proposed is that we make this workshop model non-funded model. And we say that we shall charge 5,000 rupees as the workshop fees for participating teachers. So this is the self-sustaining model. You can call it fees, you can call it charges, whatever, whatever. This money is paid by the participant to the remote center. No accounts need to be submitted to IIT Bombay. But if a participant complains that he did not get his lunch on any one of the 10 days or that the AVU facility was not working, the college will be responsible. Please note that this model has a few nice points and a few tough points. The nice points are that each workshop coordinator and the institution now is directly accountable to the participant. If I am a participant at your remote center and suppose I get some uh, kachi roti or kacha bhat which is not well cooked, well, whom do I shout at? You will say, ye to patak samne itna hi paisa diya hai, isme aisa hi chawal milega. Okay. But now when you are charging me, then I will expect service. That is one. Secondly, it will avoid any, you will have to still do all your accounting, but that is as per your internal requirement. Okay. The issue is, can this model sustain? Will teachers pay 5,000 rupees to attend this workshop? In the feedback that we have collected, from four workshops, we have been consistently asking this question. There are people, 33% people said that they will pay for their own food and stay and other costs, travel, etc. And another 33% people have said that they will be willing to pay an additional charge for conducting this workshop or paying for the fees. Only 30% said that they will attend only if it is free. Of course, this is a paper feedback. When it comes to actually shelling out money, we expect their colleges to support them. Aren't colleges expected to support the training of their teachers? Now, this is in theory. In practice, it doesn't happen, perhaps. This, uh, college may, may sometimes be this. No, no. I, I, I don't want immediate reaction here. The, we are, I want you to think about it. And I want you to think of alternate models. Please understand one thing. We can continue to conduct the workshops exactly as we have been doing. We'll do it precisely for eight more months. That's it. The project ends, everything ends. But if the model is not going to be sustainable, I have no right to release this 5 lakh rupees grant to all colleges. I will have to return this money to the government. If you have to sustain the model, we have to find some self-sustaining mechanisms. My suggestion to the government has been that please give me an extended period of one more year where I will conduct more workshops, some of which will be on such partial sustaining model. This is not the only model. I want you to discuss possibility. For example, okay, there are some questions. Suppose. My remote center, because of this whole method of self-sustaining, does not even get 30 participants. I get only 20 participants. Now, I can't even break even my head of the institution will not permit me to run this workshop with 20 participants. Now, one suggestion we had was that if you have less than 30 participants, then whatever is the deficit for those participants, the project will fund. What if I have 100 participants? So my cost is much less. But I will collect 5,000 rupees per participant. In that case, our proposal is a substantial part of that extra earning can be retained by the college and used as they fit. 
they think fit. And a percentage has to be given to IIT Bombay so that IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay does not get that money as an institution. It comes to the project so that the project can fund some other remote centers which have less of a school. We can consider breaking up this part of fixed cost and variable cost. And we can say we will charge only one part and not both. There are multiple models that are possible. But what I am very sure of is that without collecting some money from the participants, the model cannot be sustained. Now how much money to collect? How to enhance the fees? Maybe enhance it for different workshops, you can have a different thing. It's if you take the model of and demand, now wherever there is a workshop on a high demand subject. I don't know how many of you remember, but when we were conducting a workshops for 1000 teachers at a time and we suddenly enlarged it for the first time in 2012, we conducted a workshop on research methodology. There were 14,000 teachers who had registered, we could not accommodate them. That is a subject which is desperately required to be studied by most teachers. Now, if I, if I conduct a research methodology workshop, a proper two-week workshop, don't you think there will be many more people who would be willing to pay for that? So it would be subject-specific. Now, what we could do in our experimentation is that we should make a list of all subjects for which we are going to conduct the workshop. And we should say that for these workshops, we may try out this model. I want you to think about all such possibilities from now onwards, during your lunch break and during the tea breaks, so that when we have discussion sessions, I would like to listen to your suggestions. But we have to start doing this from the next summer. Please understand that the workshops have been already announced. They will be conducted exactly as per the announced model. There is no change. In fact, I had gone to IIT Kharagpur and we had a discussion with their director. We have appraised our director. Because both the directors also must say yes to this. Although the project is running under the PRSG's mandate, but we felt that we should take uh, their opinion. And they both felt that something ought to be done for sustain. Please understand, if we are able to make this model sustainable, then we can run such training programs for a very long time with the approval of AICT and IIST. The position can be... Yeah, their career development scheme, like refreshers course, then the teacher is must be interested about that. Yeah. So what I suggest is you please write down these points so that you don't miss out. And during the discussion session, make these points. Mm -hmm. I will make one of my team members to write down all of these. Okay. Now, wherever required, suppose we need to discuss some points with UGC. Mm -hmm. I will talk to Professor Ved Prakash. Suppose we need to discuss some points with AICT. I will talk to Mantha and we will get issues resolved. If any way it could help the conduct of such teacher's training workshop for a longer period of time, we can do that. But you all agree that the teacher's training is an important thing and what we are doing is contributing to engineering education? Yes. Then we will continue doing it. All right. So please have your tea and come back. <laughs>